2009 and then it goes till 2017. So if you look at blood relation tree based kind of, so this is basically blood uh, relation. So family tree questions, right? Every year you can expect around about two to three questions. So important area. This is something you need to practice. Moving ahead, what do you have coding decoding? Coding decoding questions will be straightforward, right? You don't have to you know kind of scratch your brains across it. But maybe out of three, one question will be a little bit tough, wherein you have to kind of draw it you know understand it like it, it's not going to be that easy to crack it but again it's manageable number series two questions easy ones so coding decoding blood relation number series given good weightage i think that's going to be possible mathematical something i'm going to come <coughs> back to this later <coughs> excuse me puzzles yeah 10 puzzles were there now puzzle is basically a combination of everything so you have sitting arrangement you have blood relation there might be a question based on direction which has five questions in it so it can be called as a puzzle right Last year, from last two years, they've been asking about visual reasoning. I think visual reasoning, it is not on a level of CET actually. It's something which is very manageable. You can actually work this out with the help of the options. Input, output, short, short area, four questions, pakka. Blocks and cubes, one question. Critical reasoning is one question last year there was. But I don't think this year they will be putting critical reasoning in logical reasoning. It would shift. At move to verbal ability by the way. What is critical reasoning is basically course of action, assumption, inference, conclusion, um, you know, cause and effect, something like that. There was a one question on direction last year. So if you look at basically, okay, now let's talk about mathematical. So this thing has always been a surprise from last two years, wherein they ask you around about nine to ten questions in logical uh, reasoning area. Ideally, they should have gone to your uh, quants area, but they've been asking this in LR wherein you have to actually crunch some numbers, right? So the questions are a little bit weird. You might get a graph also, wherein you have to infer the answer. So guys, these kind of questions are going to be your speed breaker. So again, you need to understand, even if you kind of discount this kind of a thing, you still have around about 30 questions or around about 20 to 30 questions, wherein you can go for 100% accuracy. You can have a good speed out there and it's going to be your score booster. But yeah, Looking at from last two years, this mathematical stuff is something that I'm not able to digest because I'm really not able to understand why they have been putting it into logical reasoning section. But questions were a little bit manageable. On 10, I would say six questions were manageable. This entire section was from easy to moderate level. Nothing, uh, nothing absurd as such, but it's just that when you look at those questions, you do not expect them to be a part of logical reasoning. And that's where it's kind of a speed breaker. It kind of, you know, hit your mentality or your psychology. You know what? Um, you know, what is this that, you know, I'm seeing in um, LR. So I think uh, won't matter a lot. But yeah, important chapters that you have is blood relation, coding, decoding, series. Then you talk about direction. Then you talk about input, output. Uh, even if you even if you don't do clocks and cubes, I think that's fairly okay. Puzzles, again, yeah, you got to practice puzzles. Input and output, last time it was on actually tough level. People, a lot of students were not able to actually crack it. So again, input and output, if you're taking in LR, I would say keep it in the end. Do not try to take it at a first go. Fair enough. Now, as far as logical reasoning is concerned, I've said that in my earlier video also. If you are doing last 8 to 10 years ka question papers of SNAP with a good speed and keeping your accuracy in mind, I think you should be fairly doing really good as far as logical reasoning is concerned. There is only one mantra for logical reasoning if you have to score well. You have to practice, practice and practice. Your main focus should be on the entire traditional uh, uh, logic your second focus is going to be on the puzzles, right? So you got to be very good with puzzles. Again, traditional puzzles, not CET like or not, uh, you know, I would say cat like puzzles, normal traditional puzzles, right? If you have my books, if you have my classes ka books, you can do puzzles from there. They are actually uh, of a snap level and mat level that that's going to help you. So keep these topics in your mind and try to work on these topics for like seven to eight this. Take a pick of this, keep this analysis with you. This is going to help you. If you have any doubt, any concern, Put a comment on the video. Thank you so much.